properly, they were the savior uh, because England was being bombed at will by the Germans and the Spitfire started to go after them and that turned the war around as far as the aircrafts are concerned and then they went over Germany and were able to cause a lot of problems for them in there. So I, I would believe that might have been one of the turning points in the air battles of World War II. Absolutely right, Pinky. It's interesting because a lot of people say that the Spitfire was the aircraft that changed the face of the aircraft. And in fact, it was a hurricane. It's still a lot of people who didn't get the other aircraft during that time. The Spitfire, with its speed and agility, was able to do such incredible missions as tilting the V-2 rockets and V-1 rockets as they came in toward London. They would come up, fly a formation with them, and tip them over with their wings in. It's an amazing vehicle as you look at it now and realize what we have today, but how this little aircraft caused so much damage and turned it all around for us. And it's really a treat to be able to have this Spitfire come to the show. And there's, there aren't many shows we're able to have it fly, but we're happy to present it to the public here. And I, I would again like to welcome all those boats that are out in the ocean. Look at that, my friends. There are hundreds of boats. And those folks are out there to watch it from their viewpoint. And you're watching it from your viewpoint along the beach. That's why it is so great to have this event right here. we got to watch it from the sea. we got to watch it from the land. And I guess at the tops of the hotels, we can say we got to watch it from the air. I'd also like to give a big welcome to Jack the Ripper. Draper, who is out there on one of the boats, he's all the way from San Diego, and he's watching this show intently with a crew of 10 on the Ripper 3. Big welcome, Jack, to uh, this great event. This, once again, is a World War II British Spitfire, a very rare aircraft. There are a number of P-51s still flying, and you can see Jim Beasley fly that U.S. counterpart to the Spitfire a little bit later on. Right now you're watching an authentic World War II Spitfire. It's also interesting to note, if you make a mental note of the sound of the engine in the Spitfire, what difference that in the B-51, although essentially it's the same engine, with it washed out by the venerable Rolls-Royce Merlin engine, but the sound's quite different between the two different aircraft. For those of you who've come from out of town to see this show today, we'd like to invite you to come back to Atlantic City. Summer is not over. We've got a lot of great entertainment that's available for you in the varied hotels and the, up at the convention center as well, the boardwalk hall. And come on in and see. Oh, There's a lot on. of free entertainment for you. There's always entertainment out on the boardwalk at Kennedy Plaza. There's entertainment out at Gardner's Basin as well for the local people and all of those of you who are visitors. So lots of good new things are happening in Atlantic City. And look for the lineup for this fall and winter season. Atlantic City does not any longer, as we used to back in the 40s and 50s, turn out the lights of the community as uh, September 1st came or Labor Day came. And that was the end of the season. No longer is that true. Atlantic City is thriving 365 days of the year and we invite you to come back throughout the entire year. You'll find that the prices are moderate, you'll find great eating establishments, lots of entertainment available for you, and of course, no matter what the weather, there's nothing like taking a stroll on the Atlantic City Boardwalk, granted to be the best boardwalk in the United States of America, it was also the very first boardwalk to be put up in 1870. That was the first boardwalk that was put into place, and we're delighted to have it continue on to provide its services for the people here. As you see, the hundreds of thousands that are walking that boardwalk today, it'll be available for the evening. We're putting all brand new lights up on the uh, boardwalk, so they'll be much brighter for you. 
For those of you who have not seen the facade, if you like the Boardwalk Empire show, take a look right across from where we happen to be, right in front of the Boardwalk Hall, the West Hall of it, and you'll see the uh, facade of many of the stores from the Boardwalk Empire. And you'll be able to take pictures of it with your families and go back and show your friends that you visited the set. Uh, pictures of the set of the Boardwalk Empire now here in Atlantic City. Pinky, I'm going to pull the music down a little bit here for a moment and let you listen to the sounds if you've got a video camera. Roll it now as he comes by and listen to the sound of this big Rolls Royce Merlin engine. Take us. Looks like he's coming back. Yep, swing up for another pass. I've just been corrected on that. I wasn't looking closely at the engine or the in the Battle of Britain, the Spitfire, and the Hurricane went into battle against the 